wonder if Dr. Romano is still here. Hey, Dr. Romano, I still, I see you're still here. All right, I want to go over a really quick question with you. That's a short bet to land on the DAT and the oath on oxidation number calculation. So come around. Okay, Dr. Romano. The first part of this, if I gave you CAS207 and asked you to name it, well, if it was CASO4, you would, have called, you would have called it calcium sulfate. But this is an ion that's not so common. It's called pyrosulfate. So we would call this calcium pyrosulfate. And as you can see, calcium is plus 2, so the pyrosulfate anion is minus 2. Okay. Part B, now that we know that the charge on the anion is minus 2, I say to you, in the pyrosulfate anion, what's the oxidation number on the sulfur? The best way to do this is to set up what I call a mini formula, as I show in the Dot Destroyer book. And I say that the total charge, which here is minus 2, is equal to the charge on two sulfurs plus 7 oxygens. Well, putting the numbers in, we have minus 2. We know the charge on oxygen is normally minus 2. And we want to find out the charge on the sulfur, so we keep that as our unknown. So we get minus 2 equals 2 times the charge on sulfur, minus 14, which is 7 times minus 2. Bringing the 14 to the other side, we get 12 is 2s. Solving, you get sulfur in the plus 6 state. Um, hopefully you all bagged this question in the study group. Um, this is a sure bet type of question that you're going to see on the DAT and the old exam. So make sure you got this one under your belts. And then when you get to electrochemistry, it'll be a big help. Because it's very important on knowing how to calculate oxidation states. All right. Hope this helps. I'll see you guys in study group. Bye okay, bye. Dr. Amano, are you going to be here tomorrow? I will. Good day Okay, to you. I'll look for you then. Goodbye, Dr. Amano. Good day to you, sir. Good day to you.